In this video, I will show you how you can write formulas very easily. You can refer to long ranges very easily using name range and table. So let's begin. Here, for example, I want to calculate total units sold. Without name range or table name, what we normally do is we write some function and then select the range and then press enter key to get the result here right similarly for average manufacturing price you would use average function and then select this range and similar for the total profit so instead of going here and selecting range again and again what we can do is we can give these ranges names we can assign names to these ranges so how to do that first you need to select the range so here I have selected units sold excluding the header right because we don't want to include header in this formula so to give this range a name go to the name box click here and then start writing the name whatever name you wish to give I normally start range names with RNG prefix units sold and press enter key now so now we have given a name to this range okay what we can do is how to use this again write some function and now instead of going there and selecting the range you can start typing the range name starting with RNG right so here you can see the name press tab key to complete the name and you can see that it has automatically selected this range okay now you can press enter key to get the sum so it becomes very easy to write formulas using range names similarly I will give this range another name for manufacturing price I'll start with RNG manufacturing price and now we can again uh, also give a name to this range or for profit yes we are going to use profit range so RNG profit and now we can use these names in the formulas now why I use RNG prefix as you can see here when I type RNG I get all the names together right so this is the benefit of using prefix using such prefix common prefix for all the names so I can press tab key to complete the name and press enter key it saves a lot of time so now for total profit RNG profit and we are done so you can see that it is very quick this way okay now let's say uh, you want to calculate summary in the other sheet the same calculations but in the other sheet so what we normally do is without range names we type the sum function and then go to another sheet and select this range right but now since we are using named range we can use it here as well so again it is saving a lot of time and effort RNG manufacturing price and finally for profit some RNG profit right so it becomes very easy and quick similarly we can uh, also use table names so in this example you can see that we have identical ranges right range 1 and range 2 so out of these uh, I will convert range 2 to a table currently these are normal ranges these are not tables okay though these are in tabular forms but these are not official tables in Excel right so to convert any normal range to a table you can press control T shortcut key control T and it has selected the entire range and here you get this dialog box to create a table and you can select this option if you have headers in this case we have headers so it is uh, already selected I just need to click on OK right so you can see that it is now formatted as a table okay you can change the formats from table styles and you can also see new tab here table design when I click anywhere outside this table it will hide right and when you click inside this table it will appear again okay so now how to use this uh, in the formula how to use a table name in the formula now again I want to calculate total items here so this is the item field I will type sum 
and the name of the table is table 1 by default so the, these are the default names table 1 table 2 and so on okay so you can rename this table I'll show you how so after you type table name you need to type left bracket square bracket and then here you will get the names of all the fields plus there are some more items here for all means all the records data means data records only excluding header and total row at the bottom and this is header and totals row okay so now for total items we will select this item field and then close the square bracket that's it sorry instead of some I need to use count a to get the count so again for total quantity I will type some function then table name and square bracket select quantity and close the bracket again very simple right now in order to rename this table click anywhere in this table go to table design and here you can rename it again I will use the name naming convention that is starting with TBL the table name starting with TBL for all the tables okay so here I can give it a name uh, TBL maybe snacks now you can see that it has automatically changed the names here right so let us type the last formula total price TBL snacks and then price and we are done so you can see that it is very easy to use table names and if you want to calculate summary on some other sheet again we can use table name everywhere TBL snacks and then you get the list right sum for total quantity TBL and Q for quantity and done very quick TBL and then price and done so that's all for this video thanks a lot for watching